G'day, thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to tell you about a new product, EcoFlow, I've just released in Australia. The River 2 600 watt power station. First up, I just want to say that EcoFlow have sent this through to us to provide a review and we get to keep the unit. However, we did consider if it would be of any value to us before we accept it. And I think there are some situations where this unit will come in very handy, particularly for us going forward. They sent it to us in the post. It can be posted anywhere in Australia. Well, let's have a look what you get. So in the pack you get the battery, the power cord and a 12 volt cord and instruction manual. Let me tell you about the EcoFlow River 2. It's a 600 watt lithium battery power station. It's a 20 amp hour battery and for its size it certainly packs a real punch. It's low weight, it's only 3.5 kilos so it's easy to carry around and can sit discreetly in a corner somewhere. The River 2 has a 12 volt plug, has a 240 volt plug, two USB A plugs and a USB C plug. There's the display screen that tells you how much charge is left in the unit, how long it will run at the current usage and how much current is being drawn. Now around the back you can see from here it can be charged by a 240 volt and also from the 12 volt charger. Now the 240 volt, it can charge up in under an hour. The 12 volt in the car will take about three hours. If you're using a solar blanket, anywhere from three to six hours and it's fully charged again. There is an EcoFlow app that you can download onto your phone and that tracks how the um, unit's performing. As I said before, we did consider if it would be of any value to us before we accept it. And we thought it would be very useful for times when we're away from the van. Now it's probably not for everyone, and there are times where you probably just want to be completely off grid. But this is how we think it'll be useful for us, particularly when we are away from the van and working remotely or doing a lot of filming. And there are times where we need to ensure that we are contactable. We think it has the potential to give us just that little bit more freedom. For example, we're looking at a rooftop tent for our visit to Arnhem Land. As there are some must-see places out there, we're not able to take a van and thought it would be very handy to have this type of power station available for us. Even for day trips, there's still probably many uses for it. All right, so what can it do? Well, I'm glad you asked. We think it would be very handy for making sure our devices are charged phones, iPads. And as I said, there are times where we do need to be contactable. And this is one way we can be confident we'll be able to recharge them. It can charge the drone batteries, the controller. It can charge our torch. It can run this compressor. I got this compressor from BCF. $22. It's a big little ripper, really. It's great for blowing up things like um, footballs or beach balls. And uh, we've been using it to pump up the bike tyres. And it can even power up our Starlink satellite internet. Again, as I said, for our travels, sometimes we do require the ability to be contactable or we wouldn't be able to do some of the things we do. Using the River 2, you can also charge small fridges, um, TV, laptop, a fan. I mean, I've even used it to recharge the auxiliary battery in the car. But keep in mind that you will need to manage the power you draw from it. At the end of the day, it's only a 20 amp hour battery. But if you pick and choose what you use it for, then it certainly has the capacity to be a reliable power source. For its size, convenience and cost, I think it's not a bad investment. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out the website and find out a bit more about the river too. Hopefully this has been helpful and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.